what Spud got to do. What? Hi friends, I am Sai Chandu and this video is about zero crossing detector. Now I am going to explain how to design a zero crossing detector using OPM in using multi-sim. I am using multi-sim 2014 version. This is um, OP amp sound, sound for one and this is uh, the pin diagram. Here the second pin is inverting and the third pin is non-inverting. Fourth pin is minus VCC, seventh pin plus VCC. Here we take output as the sixth pin. This is the circuit diagram of zero crossing detector. Now I will do it in multi -sync. After opening multi-sim, right click, place component. Here, in this database, all groups and select OPM. In OPM, select sound for one and click OPM. And in this diagram, we see that here we will give the input which is required, which is going to compare. And here we are giving ground. Here we take the output. So, we want one voltage. So, AC power supply. Ground. CC reading VDD for negative voltage and ground and here they ask the scope for seeing the results. We will connect the sound pin to VCC that is plus 5 volts and we will connect the fourth pin to VDD that is minus 5 volts. To change it, click on it and put minus 5 volts. Click OK. And connect power supply to third pin that is nothing and ground. Now connect the output to one of the terminal and connect one to input. To see the color variation, take on the wire and right click it, go to properties and net color, change it to any of the color you require and click ok, click apply, change the color. Now run the to see the output. Here, on the box, I am giving 1 volt and frequency 100 H. Reverse to see the clear pass it. You can see that for positive, it gives positive, and for negative, it gives negative square. Now, here it explains that if uh, it is the zero line and if the input crosses the zero, it is positive. If the input 
is uh, less than zero, it is negative square volts. This is the output of the zero cross detector. You can see that is here. Thanks. Thank you for watching the video.